Welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be going over the parts of the insect head and the different types of heads found on insects. We will use the example of a grasshopper to go over the general structures found on an insect head. The head has two openings, one where the mouth parts join to the head and one posteriorly called the occipital foramen where the head attaches to the thorax. The head is made up of several sclerites separated by sutures. The sclerite found on the top of the head is called the vertex. In the center of the vertex is a suture known as the coronal suture. The coronal suture splits off into two frontal sutures that run down the face. In between these two frontal sutures is the sclerite known as the frons. Below the frons is the clypeus. Between the frons and the clypeus is a suture known as the epistomal suture also known as the frontal clypeal suture. On the outer sides of the head are the lateral sclerites known as the gena. Also present on the head are a pair of compound eyes and sockets for a pair of antennae. In addition, one or more ocelli are found on the head. These are light sensitive simple eyes which are often arranged in a triangle on the front of the head. As we move to the back of the head, we find superiorly an area called the occiput and inferiorly an area known as the postgena. Between the anterior vertex and gena and the posterior occiput and postgena is the occipital suture. The mouth parts of the insect are also located on the head. The mouth parts consist of five different parts. The first part is the labrum, which is also known as the upper lip of the insect mouth. The labrum forms the roof of the mouth. The second mouth part is the hypopharynx, which is a tongue-like structure. The hypopharynx is located further back in the mouth and not visible from the outside in grasshoppers. The next mouth parts are the paired mandibles. These are like the jaws of the insect mouth and function in cutting and crushing food. The fourth type of mouth part is the labium, also known as the lower lip of the insect mouth. And the last mouth parts are the paired maxilla. There are three types of head in insects based on the orientation of the head and mouth parts. The first of these is called hyponathus. This is when the mouth parts are pointed ventrally, which is downwards. When the mouth parts are pointed anteriorly, which is forwards, the head type is known as pronathus. The third, opisthonathus, is where the mouth parts are pointed posteriorly. And that concludes this video on the insect head. Thank you for watching. If you want to support this channel, please subscribe and check out more of my videos.